we notice in our research is that the more and more large dairy companies, and I mean dairy processors, are setting carbon reduction targets or they are making their targets more sophisticated. So uh, you can divide carbon reduction targets in uh, scope one and two targets, which mean for their own operations. And probably every company has such a target right now. Uh, and you have scope three targets, which means targets for their value chain. And currently about two thirds of all dairy companies has such a scope three target and I expect it to be more in the years ahead. Yeah, so they're looking at a range of measures uh, for the scope one and two uh, carbon reduction target. They look at measures at production facilities. So that can be any measure that saves energy. Uh, but there is also a lot of measures involved that uh, make sure that they use uh, less fossil fuels and move to more renewable energy sources. So there can be solar thermal heat installations, there can be hydrogen, uh, that can be industrial heat pump that run on green and electricity. So there's a lot of different measures that companies can opt for. So I would say there's three challenges here. Uh, when you when you look at targets, then there's there's still a challenge for some companies to to work on their own targets, uh, either to set the target or to make their target more tangible uh, by not only setting a target but also making sure that there's uh, that they do know what kind of measures they are taking, that they knew though, do know the costs, and that, that they can make a nice distinction, what, what, what do I want to do first and what second. The second one is that for many, because the majority of the emissions in the dairy value chain is with farmers, so you need to have buy-in from farmers uh, that do need to adapt their working practices and that cost money as well. So support from farmers with their carbon reduction targets is, uh, is something that is really important. And the third one is that, well, there is a, there is a bill to pay in the end, and that bill that needs to be, uh, yeah, needs to be paid by someone, and that can be deal, uh, partly from public sources, but it will need to be also from, uh, yeah, from the market. So there's a, clearly a, a challenge there for dairy companies to make sure that these, in the end, consumers and customers pay part of that bill.